I'm here in front of Home Depot. Why, you ask, with incredulous snark in your voice? Because I need stuff to improve my home. I can fix stuff, you guys. That's why I'm gonna require various tools of sorts. Lumber, perhaps. Lawn mowers, multiple, for my big ass lawn. Fine, I'm lying. I rent a pre-furnished studio apartment. And I call the landlord whenever too much lint builds up in the dryer. I'm not touching the lint filter myself. Gross! I'm actually at Home Depot because its multi-billionaire co-founder, Ken Langone, just wrote a memoir entitled, I Love Capitalism. And we have to make fun of that. Before the author settled on I Love Capitalism, working titles included I Love Blood Ritual Killings, I Love Third World Tears, and I Love Capitalism, It's the Only Way I Can Come. It's probably better off he didn't go with any of those. So who do we have to thank for this book? So. We have Bernie Sanders to thank for this book. Yes, you do. <laughs> Tell us that Tell story, us please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw the massive number of young people gravitating toward Ber Bernie Sanders, it scared the hell out of me. Ah! It scared the hell out of me! Young people gravitating towards a politician who cares about decreasing income inequality, affordable college, and holding Wall Street accountable. No! The horror. Langone even doubled down by telling the Wall Street Journal, in 2016, I saw Bernie Sanders and the kids around him. I thought, this is the Antichrist. Uh, disagree with Bernie Sanders all you want, but the Antichrist? I don't know. I always pictured the Antichrist at least having like a full head of radiant, voluminous hair and uh, probably being younger. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, Ken, what is your fervent belief? My fervent belief is capitalism is the best way to spread good things among a massive number of people. That's interesting, because a massive number of people disagree with you. Who work at Home Depot? Yep, in honor of the release of I Love Capitalism, Splinter News has been publishing true stories from Home Depot employees. The outlet says, we have received more than 500 emails from current and former Home Depot employees so far. The vast majority of workers describe a job that offers dangerous work, low pay, even by retail standards, unpredictable schedules, anti-union rhetoric, and a galaxy of mismanagement. Goddamn! Maybe, just maybe, this disgustingly rich old guy's uber glorification of capitalism is biased and massively out of touch. <laughs> Let's see what the employees have to say. During our onboarding and training, we were shown several videos that I would characterize as anti-union in nature. My takeaway from that whole experience is that they wanted us to report dissent or dissatisfaction among our fellow associates. Rat out your friends and colleagues to get ahead. Capitalism! Oh yeah, that tax plan that supposedly gave Home Depot associates $1,000? Only associates that had been working there for 20 years received $1,000, which was taxed. I received $200, which was really $120 after taxes. Put out PR press releases saying you're gonna help the common man, but then actually give them scraps? Capitalism! Don't know if you have read Dante's Inferno, but I am convinced Home Depot is one of the levels of hell. I have worked for them for 10 years. It is a horrible place. I have a 401k that I put money into for nine years and all I have in it is just principal. I've been there so long, I am so beat up, I feel like an abused wife. <laughs> Capital. <laughs> Look, maybe Ken Langone came up in the golden age of capitalism, but where things stand now in late stage capitalism, consolidation of wealth, wage slavery, income inequality, and utter environmental catastrophe are in full swing. 
We desperately need to change this profit over people system. And it has to start by making fun of this ridiculously titled book. And no, I didn't read it. What do you think, I hate myself? Reporting from a wage slave warehouse, John F. O'Donnell, redacted tonight. <laughs>